So who is David Wolf? He's a health guru who promotes a great many good ideas as far as supplements and health giving advice. Certain practices and ideas that he recommends are of great benefit to a great many people. If not physically, in a strictly scientific manner, at least psychologically as far as the belief in them. So in that sense it touches on self-help and a kind of almost self-empowerment. But that does mean by definition that he is in fact promoting a great amount of pseudoscience. Some of his ideas and some of his concepts are in fact harmful. Certain remedies which really don't work. Certain ideas of things that contain energy or some kind of other force which really they don't or at least it cannot be demonstrated. Also his view on vaccines which is made very clear over the years is an anti-vaccine position believing that natural remedies can fill the gap. But of course he has a good side in some ways. However, his pseudoscience and ridiculous claims make a mockery of anything of validity that he happens to say. It does not mean that his valid statements are in fact false or made false by some of his incorrect claims or ridiculous pseudoscientific or even pseudo-religious claims. But it does in fact make it so you can see where he's coming from and that much of his advice should be taken with a pinch of salt. If one is to understand the great mystery, one must study all its aspects, not just the dogmatic narrow view of the Jedi. I have to say, I think Robert almost comes, along, comes with a deep psychosis.